<clears throat> Alright y'all, today we're going to talk about a pair of shoes that is currently still sitting on shelves. Now me personally, I would have thought these would have been an instant sellout given the history and everything like that, but I guess that doesn't matter anymore to some people. And I guess it's safe to say that times have definitely changed over the years. Or has it? Let's dive in. Yes, sir, you too. What's happening with it, man? It's your boy, Travi J. Back at you with another video. Hope everybody's feeling good, feeling great today, man. Your boy is back with another video, man. Shout out to your boy for the consistency this week, man. Yeah, your boy's still continuing that hot streak. I told y'all I'm gonna be pumping them out, man, and uh, we're gonna get this thing back rolling. But uh, today, I got a shoe that released back in March that I wanna talk to y'all about, man, that is currently still sitting on shelves, and I can see why and I kind of still don't understand it a little bit, man. I'm kind of torn between the two, but we're going to talk about it, man. We're going to discuss some things, and I want y'all to let me know why y'all think this shoe is still currently sitting on shelves when I kind of think they would have sold out, you know, given the history behind it and everything like that. So uh, we're going to dive into it, man. But before we go any further, I need y'all to do me a favor, man. I need y'all to go ahead and spam that like button. You know what I'm saying? That's the word they use now. Spam that like button. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me as well, man. I need everybody to lock in, man. Show the channel some support. And let's go ahead and build this thing back up, man. We're trying to do big things over here. So definitely hit that like button for your boy, man. And it'll truly be greatly appreciated. And also, go and give me a follow on the gram over at Travi J Official. That's where it all goes down at, man. My outfit of the day, kicks of the day. Things like that, man. Some sneaker app W's. Anything like that, man. You know, if I got anything interesting going on in life, sneaker related, I'm going to post it on my story. Everything like that, man. If you want to keep up with all things Travi J, hey, man, that's where it goes down at. Once again, that's Travi J official. Go ahead and give me a follow on there as well. And it'll truly be greatly appreciated. All right, y'all. We got a pair of shoes to talk about today. And uh, I'm curious to see y'all's thoughts on these, man, because uh, I got my opinions, but I also want to know y'all's as well. So let's go ahead and dive a little further and see what the problem really is. All right, let's do it. Okay, so here we go, y'all. I don't want to really do an in-depth review on this shoe. I mean, I'll do an overall look at it, I guess to say, but this shoe is almost two months old, and uh, I don't really want to bore y'all with specs and details and everything like that, man. You've seen this shoe a million times by now since I'm so far behind late on this shoe as it is, so we're just going to go straight in with it, man. Air Jordan 9 Retro. Colorway is going to be Summit White and Black. Now, I will say as far as sizing, I did go up a half size on these. Um, Jordan 9s tend to fit really, really narrow in the toe area, so I went up a half size just to give me a little bit of wiggle room. Um, true to size would have been okay, but I'm just thinking from the perspective of if you're going to be wearing the shoe all day, you want to be comfortable. So I went ahead and went up a size, uh, and a half, I mean, I'm sorry, went up a size. I went up a half size on these, man, just to give me a little bit more comfort room on these. But peeling back the top, man, let's go ahead and get these guys out of the box. And returning for the first time since 2014. Yes, sir. We got the Air Jordan 9 Powder Blues OG Specs. Talk to me, man. Talk to me and let me know if you went after these guys when they released. I want to say they released back on March 23rd. I want to say that's the release date. Y'all fact check me if I'm wrong. That's just off the top of the head. But I, I know it was the end of March. I know it was the end of March, but March 23rd is the date that's sticking out of my head. But um, first thoughts on these, y'all. Um, it's a plain shoe. You know, it's just an all-white shoe with, you know, powder blue hits on them. Um, like I said, I would have thought that these would have instantly sold out because it's an OG colorway. Now, I heard a lot of rumors and a lot of complaints as far as this right here. No 23 on the back. And listen, I'm one of the people that prefers the 23 on the back. I just think it looks better. Um, this right here is a little bit naked, if you will, man. It's just nothing back there. Um, I just think that 23 is, you know, the staple for the Air Jordan 9, if, if I'm being honest, man, in my opinion. So um, comment below and let me know if you would have preferred the 23 on the back instead of just this being blank in the back. Um, but I just kind of felt like it gives it character a little bit, man. You know what I mean? It just kind of, it looks plain and bland without it. But, um, you know, the leather quality on these, it wasn't nothing special. You know, it was kind of kind of stiff if, if you ask me. And one of the biggest features that I did notice on these, if you could see where the leather is cut on these, you can see hits of that powder blue 
as well in between the lines, man. So that was a nice little touch on that. Um, on the bottom of these, you know, all white outsole with a powder blue jump man on the bottom of the heel. Um, you know, all black tongue on these, mesh tongue. Of course, you got powder blue hits uh, on the back of the tongue as well. Air Jordan in the front. And, you know, of course, you got your glove on the back as well. You know what I mean? Jordan 9 was pretty much an international shoe. So that's where the theme comes from on this one. And, you know, it's kind of modeled after a baseball glove. And that is because Jordan was actually playing baseball at the time that these released. So, um, you know, 9s, it's like I got a love-hate relationship with 9s. It's like one of those ones that they don't look the best. It's one of those silhouettes that just don't look the best. But, um... It's still dope in its own way, if that makes sense, man. Um, I gotta say, you know, just for OG collector's purposes, that's probably the only reason why I went ahead and picked these up. Um, other than that, I probably wouldn't pay retail price for these. I would definitely wait until they go on sale, which they will go on sale because they are still sitting on shelves right now. And um, it's just one of those ones, man. You know, just one of those ones to just put up in the collection. Um, I'm not too sure if I'm gonna get many wears out of these just because it's so plain and bland. Um, I will say this would be one of those shoes if you can catch another pair um, for under retail, then you can go and pick it up. And that goes for like my OG, OG sneaker heads. Like, you know what I mean? The people that really collect for real, like, you know, you double up on something like this and you keep one on ice and you kind of, you know, one to beat up. But me personally, man, I mean, I went ahead and paid retail price for these, but I know I could have waited a little bit longer to uh, actually secure a pair on sale uh, or something like that because, you know, these aren't going anywhere anytime soon. Um, they are starting to dry up just a tad bit um, just because they've been sitting around for so long, but patience is key, y'all. I can't stress that enough. Patience is key. I guarantee um, I will be able to get a pair of these in the next couple of weeks um, when they do go on sale. Um, I know it's coming. It's coming soon because, like I said, these just released at the end of March, and we're going. In, we're already into May, so um, these are definitely going on sale soon. But um, you know, I forgot to mention you got that black jump man right here on the side, and it's just a shoe from 1994, y'all. I mean, that's pretty much all I got to say on it. You know, you got a pull tab in the back, of course, in black, and um, it's not a bad shoe. Um, I gotta say my favorite all-time colorway in the Jordan 9 is the olive which we will be getting later this year And that is an automatic double up. I am doubling up on that shoe um, I had the two uh, the 2012 pair, but I sold it because it just I didn't like the way it fit You know, I had a I think a nine and a half in those as well um, But I don't know what it was about that shoe man, but it just would not let me be great I mean that it was painful on my pinky toe So I think you know the ones that they made this year They kind of retooled them a little bit the shape and everything so these fit perfect these actually fit perfect So um, I really cannot wait until we get all of nines later this year uh, Another colorway that I would love to return would be the charcoal colorway. I never had that one so um, that one might even be a double up because I love that colorway a lot and um, it's just a dope shoe but um besides this the only other nine I have in my collection are the OG's the Space Jam nines and um, those are still DS you know it's just one of those ones that you know um, I probably wouldn't wear that shoe if I can get a second pair for a decent price DS um, I would get another pair and rock those but when it comes to my OGs I like to double up man I like to keep one on ice and you know I, I rock the other pair and kind of beat those up a little bit but um, other than that man I mean nines I'm not crazy about them if I'm honest I'm not gonna hold y'all I'm not crazy about the nine silhouette at all um, it's just certain colorways in them that are very dope and like I say olives take the cake man olives is the probably the best um, outside of OG the best non OG colorway is the olives but um, as far as the OGs go you really can't beat Space Jam 9 so um, but comment below let me know if you went after these on release day if you went wanted to pick up a pair let me know if you are an OG sneakerhead and you had to have these um, I know um, the newer generation probably didn't care for these at all um, that's probably why they're sitting on shelves right now and you know, just certain shoes just have different meanings to different generations, in my opinion. Um, like I said, for an uh, older, you know, sneakerhead like me, uh, I, I appreciate these. I appreciate, you know, what they represent and the time frame that they came from. But um, honestly speaking, this ain't nothing I'm going to rush to throw on feet, like, on any given day, if that makes sense. 
Um, this is kind of one of those weekend shoes, you know, you just kind of lounging around, chilling or whatever the case may be. But if I want to really like step out, step out, yeah, I'm not throwing these nines on at all. I mean, these are boots, in my opinion. Uh, nines are really, really heavy on the foot, man. So, like I said, this is a store run type shoe, if you will. Like I said, just one of those weekend shoes, man. You just kind of kicking back, lounging around, and chilling. But, yeah, this is not an all-day walk-around-in shoe for me. So, comment below and let me know if y'all feeling me on that. Because, you know, it's it's a Jordan 9, y'all. You know, and like I said, no disrespect to 9s, but it is what it is, man. It just it is what it is, so... But pretty much y'all, that's it. I'm going to wrap this one up. That's just want to give y'all my stance on the shoe. Uh, once again, no knock to the shoe at all. It is a dope shoe, you know, all around. But um, I'm not going to say it's necessarily needed, you know, in, in 2024. I'll say that. Um, you know, it's nice that they did bring them back, you know, for the OG collectors out there. But um, I don't think this is that appealing to the eye, you know, in 2024 like it once was back in like 2012 or 2014 when these last released. So, um but given the current state of sneakers, why do you think these are still sitting around? Is it because of the 23 not being on the back? I know that did deter a lot of people. And um, that definitely knocked some points off for me as well. Um, you know, the 23 on the back is everything, man. I, I just, like I said, I can't stress that enough. But, you know, this is the way they came back in 94. So I guess they wanted to bring them back in OG fashion, in OG form. And they did just that. So uh, we can't really be mad at it, man. You know, you got to appreciate you know, um, nostalgia when you get it. So, um, but I think these probably would have sold a lot better and a lot faster had that 23 been on the back of the shoe. So, um, but that's pretty much it, y'all. I'm wrapping it up right here. I appreciate y'all for tuning in, checking out this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to check out my videos as well. Once again, go ahead and hit that like button, man. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button as well. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Same time, same place. We keeping the street going, y'all. And uh, as always, I appreciate the support, man. It really goes a long way. And for that, I can't thank y'all enough. But I'm gone, man. I'm out of here. I will catch y'all on the next one. But before I go... I just want to let you know, you never get a second chance to make a first impression, so always put your best foot forward. And on that note, y'all stay blessed, y'all stay fresh, and I'm going to see y'all on the next one. Alright, I'm gone.